cool stuff. We live in a brave new world. But now, uh, I, I, I wanted to, you guys have both said something along the lines of podcasting is the new blogging. Mm-hmm. And I saw this, there was an article in the uh, uh, Canada's Globe and Mail about a year ago. And that was the exact headline. Podcasting is the new blogging. And um, interestingly enough, I didn't realize they reference it in the article. GE has a podcast, General Electric. And it was number one in the US iTunes store. And then in Canada, uh, RBC, which is the Royal Bank of Canada, has a popular podcast. So does Shopify. And Slack is a Canadian company. And they have major podcasts. So it's like GE's got one. And then the other thing that's interesting is podcasting's taken off in Silicon Valley. There was an article in Fortune. Let me grab it. It says venture capital firms are really into podcasting. And they put together a list of all of the VC firms that have podcasts. Here it is. And I I won't read them all, but, you know, uh, Andreessen Horowitz has a really popular one, the A16Z podcast. And um, uh, there's a whole bunch on here. Kleiner Perkins has one. Y Combinator has one. uh, Scale Ventures has one. Greylock has one. Uh, my buddies at Venrock have one, et cetera. I mean, there's some pretty, pretty serious firms and they're sharing some pretty awesome shit that you could never, you know, get into in any other way before. And so I guess all that said, guys, like, you know, where do you think podcasting is as, as a, uh, a business, uh, uh, you know, a business tool or a marketing, uh, you know, something that you should have in your marketing arsenal? And I just look at it as, you know, I spent way too much money on a marketing MBA that all it, you know, I should have gone back to the, what my grandparents knew that marketing is just starting a conversation with somebody that could be our ideal customer. So just starting it from that standpoint. And how do you want to do that? Do you want to do it with billboards, with email, with conferences? And if you look at, at that, you know, you just want to start a conversation with somebody that could be an ideal customer. Podcasting is a pretty easy way to do that. Or even from the standpoint of being a guest on other people's podcasts, to me, that's, that's even better return on investment there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And there, well, there's a lot there so that we can potentially talk about. Um, but as far as podcasting being the new blogging, it's kind of interesting because, you know, blogging was something that, you know, just your top kind of influencers did. And of course, everybody kind of jumps on the bandwagon. Everybody has one and that's, that's fine. And so the debate is, you know, well, do we need more podcasts, right? Does everybody need a podcast? Well, why not? You know, I mean, it's when you get right down to it, podcasting to me is one of the most easily leveraged and scaled up, you know, scalable forms of creating content. I mean, Chris, if I told you to sit down and write me a 500 word article, first of all, you'd punch me in the face. <laughs> but if I sat down and 1200 said, hey, words for sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but if I sat down and said, Hey, I'm going to, let's have a chat for a half hour. And then I'm going to give this to somebody and they're going to work their magic and they're going to get a transcription. And then they're going to turn that into an article. You'd be like, great. Let's all, sit down and have a conversation long. all day long. And so, yeah, stuff like that to where I don't think it so much matters. Like you mentioned, the, the average podcast getting a couple hundred downloads. Who cares? The cream rises to the top. The people that suck will try it for a while and they'll be out of the game and that's fine. Um, but even if you feel like you do suck, still get into it and let's find out. Maybe you're good, you know, if, especially if you put the reps in. I mean, Tom, you've, you've definitely got the reps as a, as a guest. I mean, you know what it's like to start off feeling like you suck uh, and just plowing through it and eventually you get good at it. I would agree and disagree on that because I blogged for a long time and I always thought I sucked at blogging, right? It was always a homework assignment. And for me, um, you know, English is my second language. I'm not sure what my first one was, but now I can talk. Most of my blogs would be dictated and then go to rev.com and then have Mm -hmm. a VA in the Philippines clean them up. So I sound, so I sounded, you know, even half educated. So for me, it's easier to speak than it is to write. And I think from that mm-hmm. standpoint, uh, is it a video? Is it a blog? I think it's so easy to repurpose content 
you know, give it to them in the way they want. So some people will watch this as a video because they like to watch it. Other ones will, you know, listen to it at 2x speed. Um, other people could listen, uh, you know, read the transcript, whatever, you know, it's you, you produce it in whatever format you like and let them consume it in whatever format they like. 